certainly is good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning, and it's good that uh, for all of us that we're able and well to uh, come and to serve the Lord and praise His holy name. And I'm so thankful this morning for the health and strength for each one of us. Amen. Uh, I just don't know. It's, it's a hard thing to see some of these uh, people that have these diseases and how they're choking to death and smothering to death and all this. And uh, I'm just thankful to the Lord that he's, that he's uh, let us escape that this far. We want to study some this morning in the book of Matthew in chapter 21. We'll talk to you about a parable this morning that uh, Jesus spoke to the apostles and to uh, uh, those that, uh, that was around him. And it's uh, in chapter 21, verse 33. It's, a, it's the parable of the wicked husbandman. And uh, this morning, I uh, thought, well, uh, this, this is not really uh, an Easter subject, but the thing of it is, this is what the Lord, I believe, wanted us to hear. And uh, we, can, uh, we can gather uh, uh, from this these uh, words that he has given us. So in, in the uh, book of Matthew, in chapter 21, in verse 33, he says, Hear another parable. Uh, there was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it around about and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and laid it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. And as I was reading on this and trying to, to uh, study it, uh, of course I had already had another lesson kind of worked up, but anyway, I, got to, I looked at this and I said, well, you know, this word hedge, uh, and it just, it just caught my eye, this word hedge, and God, God has hedged us. Amen. God has hedged us, and, and, and we remember as we study some in the book of Job, and uh, the devil, the devil knew that uh, what hedge was, mm -hmm. because he, he, first, he first brought it out to God. Yeah, God, you, you hedged him. You built up something around him, and I can't get through it. And so this morning, it's the same for us this morning as it was with Job. And you know, uh, even after the hedge was built up, Job gave uh, the devil that permission to go ahead and go through the hedge right. and to uh, do what uh, he was allowed to do. But he said, you can't take his life. You can't take his life. And the thing of it is this morning, it shows all power that uh, God has it and that we're serving the mighty God this morning. And Amen. We're, we're hedged. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes sometimes you can see it more so than you can others. But the thing of it is, we need to be more appreciative Amen. of what we've got and the hedge that's built around us and, uh, and the understanding within that hedge that we have of God's Word and of His truth. Because, listen, everybody everybody is not as fortunate as we are right and listen I, I can uh, I can toot my own horn this morning because I know the truth and I know that God has given us the truth and 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 he has put that hedge around us and within that hedge if within that in his arm we're protected amen and listen we we sometimes get worried we sometimes get scared and we sometimes uh, forget that God is on the throne. We forget that God is the able to uh, keep us protected. But I thought of this word hedged as I was studying this. And so this word hedge that he's talking about this morning is considered, it is, is about Israel. And you know that he, he hedged Israel. And this is what he's talking about here. And and this 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 parable here, the, the, the homeowner, the householder is a type of God, and he built Israel, and, and listen, over over in one of the, uh, I forget now where it's at, but anyway, it said he brought a, a root out of, Israel, uh, out of Egypt, and that was Israel, and he planted that, he planted that, and he put a hedge about it, and that was the vineyard, and he let this, he let Israel grow and he protected Israel and so we see here that he said here this certain householder which planted planted a vineyard which was God and he hedged it about and dig a wine press 
in it, which was a uh, 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 for their own use and and, and for their for their uh, uh, lifestyle and all this. And he says, and he dug a, a wine press and built it and a tower for their protection to use that for a lookout. And he and he let and he let it out to husbandmen. And these husbandmen are tenants, or are they? Uh, uh, people that worked in the thing, so, the, so God turned this over, and Israel was a state, it was a vineyard, and so we see that in this, uh, there was some things that happened that Israel, Israel messed up, and Israel mm -hmm. did not serve the Lord like they should, they didn't, uh, they just didn't serve him, and so we see here in, 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 as, we, as we read on in verse 34, and when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandman or to the tenant or to the one that was, was uh, in charge. And this, of course, this, this fruit is the souls of men. This fruit is what uh, he's talking about. They did not serve God like they should. Amen. These tenants, they... They didn't. Uh, they didn't care anything about giving what they had that they had reaped out of the the vineyard or the harvest. They wanted their own worldly uh, uh, way of serving God and all this, and they didn't want to honor God with any kind of fruit that he was he was uh, after. So he says, and when the time in verse thirty-four, when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. So this morning, uh, he's he's sending he's sending for his fruit from this from this church. He's sending it for for his fruit. He desires fruit from this church and from mm -hmm. other churches. He desires that fruit. And listen, that fruit, if it's if it's the fruit is grown right, if the fruit is right, if the fruit is uh, been taken taken and grown right and has the, the right thing and not something different, listen, it's pleasing to me. Amen. It's a, it's a sweet smelling savor to, his, to him and when he looks down into this congregation this morning, I pray and, and I believe that he's smelling a sweet, savor, a sweet smelling savor. I believe this morning that we're in the will of God and I believe that we're trying to serve him and I know that we fail miserably sometimes. I do myself, I can say for myself, I fail miserably sometimes but, but the thing of it is I have that desire to serve the Lord and that is some, the most important thing about Amen. the fruit is that you have that desire and that faith to serve the Lord and, and, and tell others about him and, uh, and, and do his will. And so he said here, they sent this, they sent for the fruit and that's what he was looking for. That's what his, that's what his sole purpose was for, was to rent, for, for building this, this nation, if you would, and they serving him in the way that would be pleasing to him. And we this morning know that Israel Israel has never uh, been constant in trying to serve. Now, he, right. they have served in time past, and when they did, God blessed them beyond measure, and he, gave, he let them do things that was impossible for men to do, but they, they did it, they accomplished it. But listen, just as soon as they uh, got what they wanted, they turned sour, and uh, so God has to discipline them. And, and as Brother Larry mentioned this morning about discipline, discipline is 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 sweet. Mm -hmm. If and, and listen, because he chastises those he loves. And this morning, I believe that he's let let our country get infected with this thing because that he wants to get our attention. He mm -hmm. wants greater things out of us and from us than what we are giving him and so this morning all we can do is say praise the Lord for the chastisement because listen that shows that he loves us amen if we never got chastised and we just get our, went our happy go away way and listen that's what our country is just about to get into is everybody's doing his own thing and everybody's right. got everybody's got religion and nobody's saved you know what I'm saying and so this morning I think it, uh, it's time for 
uh, him to kind of put a squelch to the things and and, uh, and 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 show people, hey, listen, uh, you're not right. You're not right. And so this is what they, this is what they found out. So he, the husbandman, in verse 35, and the husbandman took his servant, the one that he had sent back, and listen, this this was none other than Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to this earth, and listen, he came to this earth to set up a church. He came to this earth uh, for the fruit, to see the fruit and all this, and he, he, he sent his husband, and, and, and the husband took his servants and, and, he, and beat one and killed another and stoned another. And listen, even into this, and I said it was Jesus Christ because they killed Jesus Christ on, and hung him on the cross. But listen, not only he, but he sent others, uh, the prophets and right. all these uh, uh, to to us, to, to them, to to tell them their deeds was was wrong, and so they killed them, and they didn't want to give nothing to them. They didn't want to honor them with any of the fruits, and so he said he beat them, and he killed them, and he stoned them. And we think about uh, uh, all the pastors and the preachers and the uh, uh, all those that had come to the to Israel time and time again and preaching to them and they 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 did everything he, uh, that they could to them to uh, uh, to keep them down and so he said here and in verse 36 and again he sent other servants more than the first and they did unto him them likewise and so it wasn't a one-time thing and it and, and after he brought them out of egypt and he planted this and and they were they were set up and he gave them the land and he said hey, you know it's a land flowing with milk and honey and you can you serve me and you can enjoy this well they didn't and so here he says here and again he said other servants more than the first and they did unto them likewise but last of all here we go Last of all, he sent unto him them his son, Amen. saying, they will re reverence my son. And listen, this morning, we know, as I already mentioned, that they killed the, the Savior, Jesus right. Christ. And this morning, we, uh, we, set up, we look at this morning as representing the, the uh, death, burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And listen, he, he did this for us this morning he did this because without him without that death and that burial and the resurrection there could not have been a soul escaped hell amen he was the one that done it and this morning we need to praise him and and and, and thank his father the lord jesus christ for sending him uh to us and that he gave his life he shed his blood for the remission of our sins that we could be saved. Amen. So this is what this is what had happened to him. And so last of all, he sent unto them his son, Jesus, they saying, They will reverence my son. And you know, what a great, you know, he I'm saying, the word saying this this morning that they will reverence my son. They will they will believe him. They will they will straighten up their act. They will they will they will serve me now because I'm sending my only begotten son. But sin, sin will not serve God. It's, it's, it's this way. Sin is against him. The devil is against God the, and everything. And, and this is the main thing that out of this, all of this was that the devil thought that he had won the victory. Right. And listen, he said he, got, he had his son, Jesus Christ, killed on the cross of Calvary and, and, and he thought he won but listen it was the plan of God that this all should happen right listen people this happened this happened many I don't know how long it was before God said let there be light in their most light the plan had already been put in action Amen. the plan was already in place Jesus Christ 
even in this testifies and says that my father has told me these things and this is the way that they should happen and this is the way they're going to have to happen. Amen. And he said, Father, as we studied last time, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. But listen, he went to the cross willingly. Amen. He went to the cross willingly for us. And this morning, you know, it, it, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sacred time. And in this morning of all morning, we should appreciate and pray and thank the Lord that he sent his son, Jesus Christ. Because it's, it's, it's just, uh, it just uh, it's, it's something that, uh, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it's, it, it's so important to us, and, and we don't understand it, and that, that there's people this morning that are dying, and they're, they're, they're going to hell. Right. Their souls is going to hell. And uh, what a terrible thought it is this morning to think about a person, the meanest person who ever lived, dying and going to hell. Because right. Because there was the blood shed that he that could have. But anyway, we'll get back to the lesson. So in verse 38, here's the, the old priest. But when the husbandman saw that the son, that they said among themselves, this is the heir, come and let us kill him. And they knew, they knew who Jesus was. Amen. But listen, they were teaching, they were teaching false doctrine. They were still <laughs> wanting to, to hold to the law. They were still wanting to do works and, and give praises of man on their own self. And so this this, this husbandman here in verse 30 is, 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 is the type of the priest. Saul, they said among themselves, this is the heir. Let, come let us kill him and let us seize on his inheritance. And so they, they in their dumb mind thought that they could do this and that they would, they would, they would have control over Israel. But listen, it didn't happen that way. Notice. Okay, in 39, and they caught him and cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. And when the Lord thereof of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto these husbands? Amen. And we know this morning that God, what God is going to do. He's going to destroy all of these people, all of these unbelievers, all of these that, that would have a desire to kill the, the son. And it says, they... 41, they said unto him, he will miserably, and these are these evidently are the ones that 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 were working in this. They will, they said he will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruit of their season. And now listen, this is this is where we come in. The 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 uh, but anyway, we are the ones that got the, the we got the inheritance. Amen. And we're the ones this morning that are in charge of the vineyard because the Jew has rejected God as a whole. They've rejected or rejected Jesus Christ as a whole. And so we are in, in charge of it now. And so he said, Jesus said unto them, Did you never read in the scripture? The stone which the builders rejected, which was uh, Jesus Christ and the Jews, the same is become the head of the corner, which is Jesus Christ. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruit thereof. And that would be us this morning that are that have received this. And it's we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior. Amen. And we recognize him as such, and we recognize God as our Father. But the Jews have not accepted Jesus Christ as of yet. And so he took the vineyard, which was Israel, and they, he put it over in a, in a, in a condition where that it was under control of, a, of, the, of, the world, of the world. And he set them there. And now he will 
he will come back to them. Amen. And he will present himself uh, again to them. And But until that time, the Gentile is in charge of the vineyard, that uh, the uh, uh, the works is, is producing fruit for the Lord, for the God. And so he says, Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruit thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. Talking about the, Jesus Christ. But, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And when the chief priest and the Pharisees had heard this parable, they perceived that he spake of them. In other words, he, they understood well who he was talking about. But when they sought to lay uh, hands on him, they feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. Now, in and another the, place there for the, the, the vineyard, uh, he, he, he gave these three people different amounts of money or different uh, things to use. And you know the, the story of one or two of them put it back into the thing and, and uh, the other one hid his in a, a napkin and hid it. And listen, when he come back, and, he, and this is about like the vineyard here that we were talking about. And when he come back to find uh, these, he said, um, blessed are you because you've gained this much. And the other one said that we've gained this much. And so he said, you're blessed are you. But then the one that did like the vineyard that we thought about, listen, he said, uh, take it from him. And listen, this morning, that's what he did for Israel. He took it, he took it, he right. took the, the rights of Israel, and he put them, he, he put them over to the side. And listen, he's not, he's not, he's not forsaken them, because they're his first love. They're the apple of his eye. Amen. And listen, this morning, he'll all, he'll, he'll, he's going back to Israel. And I think, you know, I think that uh, Israel is getting ready to receive him. Uh, and, and so this morning, uh, uh, we need to think about the, the day that Christ is going to come back for us. And, uh, you know, it could be, it could be shortly, or mm -hmm. it may not be. And it may be said that it may be 500 years. But the thing of it is, we need to be ready. Amen. We need to be watching and we need to be ready. And, and listen, we need to keep our, our fruit for that it will qualify to please God. Mm -hmm. Our fruit is what he, he wants to see and that's what he, in, he, he enjoys. So this morning, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I've, I messed up because I had some more stuff I want to read, but uh, this, uh, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes for me to remember some of the things that I wanted to read, but uh, I, I, I feel like this morning that there's, uh, there's, a, there's, a, a, there's a time coming and it, it's not far off that we're going to, uh, we're going to see the Lord. Amen. And so uh, this morning, uh, we uh, we ask you to to uh, be much in prayer for one another and, and pray that we can uh, 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 stay together. Amen. Um, sometimes, I, I mean, sometimes we get we get discouraged. Mm -hmm. But listen, people, uh, it, it's not it's not a discouraging time because uh, you know a lot of times uh, uh, there's stuff in in a in a church that has to be uh, uh, taken out. Mm -hmm. And listen, you know, uh, they, you know, I was thinking about the thing where that uh, the, the uh, bad seed was sowed with the, with the good. And they run to the, the, the one that owned it and said, what do you want us to do? Go out there and pull it up. He said, no, let it go together. Well, mm -hmm. and then it, and so this morning, uh, we have we have stuff that's that's going on and, and that has been going on or was going on. I don't know, but I think the Lord is dressing us and strengthening us and getting us ready uh, to, to to leave out. So Amen. anyway, it's a thought. It's a good thought. Amen. I know that I know that we're going. Amen. I know that He's coming, and so uh, I thank y'all this morning for listening to my. Uh, 
effort to teach you a lesson. Thank you all. Amen.